My name is Stevie Calissa and I'm an astrologer. Today in this video I wanted to speak about the election and um, the upcoming fall energy. Every day, every event, every business has a birth chart. When you look up the election day chart of that specific day, we see Mercury, the planet of communication and information, the one that would rule like paperwork or information technology, technology exchanging hands. And Mercury will be slowing down, which is called stationing in astrology, which means the speeds of Mercury slow down, and this is where miscommunication happens. Um, so the election day chart is a lot of miscommunication. A lot of information being confused. We're already seeing it with like the mail-in ballot debate, right? Um, this election chart has such technical difficulties. I really feel like we're not going to have an answer right away about who wins. Um, and Mercury happens to be squaring the structures and systems and authority and politics area of our lives. And so the same area of our lives that's crumbling right now because it was built 200 years ago and it's outdated um, in this earth age that we're in, right? We're moving into the air age, which I spoke about this a few times on YouTube, but the air age is all about Aquarian energy and, and valuing information and community and the collective energy, like serving the collective all as one. And the election day chart really has this slow informational, like garbled sort of uh, communication energy, communication issues, technical difficulties, squaring our fight for control or squaring the fight that we have over being controlled by our authority. And then we have Mars retrograde moving backwards. So that means our, our action and drive is moving backwards, right? And that is squaring authority and the sort of the death that we're going through in society. And so two planets, one that moves forward, one that communicates both slowed speeds. And it means like people are going to be triggered. And it means a lot. Um, I don't think that we're going to have an answer for a while. I'm not sure when. When I do pull up Donald Trump's chart and I'm looking at the soul's chart, the soul's contract, right? He is having his nodal return during this time. So what that means is that your destiny, your karma, your soul's direction, your, your soul's movement forward is really, really, really being highlighted in 2020 for him, specifically in the fall. Also, the moon in astrology, which is the people are sitting right on top of Donald Trump's North Node during the election. So maybe he gets reelected. Maybe that's what actually happens, but we have an uproar and there's miscommunication and the ballot numbers are, are messed up. I'm not quite sure what this looks like, but it's definitely very, very messy. And it's very karmic for Donald Trump. And, and truly, when you look at Donald Trump's chart, he's here to stir the pot. He has Uranus in the 10th house, his son in the 10th house, he is a leader, like he is here to lead through his career, through, through the public eye. That is truly what Donald Trump is here to do. His North Node lives there, meaning it is his soul's purpose, purpose, it is his soul's purpose to stir stuff up, to stir stuff up in the public eye. His node moving into that place means that this is absolutely karmic and it's absolutely like soul contract sort of stuff. Donald Trump was born during an eclipse um, and so that's really also I find that quite fascinating, right? So Donald Trump is a, like the North Node is where the public is also moving towards. And it means like he's such a big part of what we're moving into. Bad or good, however you want to take that. I won't give my personal opinions. Um, I have honestly been trying to stay as open as possible in 2020 because we are really, really being asked to let go of beliefs that no longer serve us. Ego beliefs. So that we can actually create the space that we need in order to make the change, which, which also means that Gemini energy is involved, the curious mind, the one that has conversations with people and stays open and listens. On December 14th of this year, after the election goes down, Trump's moon gets eclipsed on an eclipse when he was born during an eclipse. Um, what that means, I'm not sure. An ending? 
the people maybe during December 14th around that time will have an answer to the election stuff. I'm not sure. It should be interesting, though. Just pointing out the astrology, I, I'm i not going to use it to predict, predict anything. My only prediction really is that Donald Trump would get elected just because I see his node being activated. Um, but whatever that may be, take it for take it for what it is. On December 21st, we have the Great Awakening, um, which is like what we're moving into, which is very, it's a part of the Age of Aquarius, which I, I talk about all the time. Um, it's when Saturn and Jupiter come together in an air sign for the first time in 200 years. The ages are 2100 year cycles, so just over 2000 year cycles. We're moving out of the age of Pisces and into the age of Aquarius, but we're not there yet, right? On December 21st at a solstice point, right, the winter or summer solstice, depending on what hemisphere you live in, is when this goes down, we are planting the seed for the first time in 200 years that this conjunction has happened in an, in an air sign. So it's always it's been in Earth for the last 200 years. That means the Industrial Revolution was born. That means that the priority is wealth and material possessions and it's Earth building things, building structures, right? On December 21st, we see it in air for the first time in 200 years, like I said, in Aquarius at zero degrees on a solstice point. So this is very, very strong energy. This is the seed planting of the Great Awakening, of, of taking Jupiter's expansive energy where, where our minds are opened and we dream a new dream, and Saturn's energy, which is disciplined in creating structures and systems, right? Like creating a new dream in Aquarius for humanity with new structures and systems. This is December 21st of this year. So this is where we really want to consider what we hang on to from the last 200 year Earth cycle and what we want to bring into the new. And we have this opening. My hope is that we can stay open and curious and we can realize that the propaganda that we have been living in for our entire lives around dividing ourselves and putting each other in separate spaces can truly be dismantled, can truly dissolve into something where we allow each other to have different ideas and use them in order to actually help everyone or, and step into this air cycle with a higher mind, with more of a woken state. So I hope that helps for anyone who's been asking me what's going down with the election or what's going down in the fall. September, October, and November are going to be a wild ride. So I hope that you can hang on and I hope that we can use our minds to dream a new dream, to dream a new future that works for the collective where we don't oppress each other and we don't divide each other. That is my prayer. That is my hope. That is what I spend my time in meditation thinking about and I hope you will too. If you have any questions, leave them below. If, if you would like a reading to see where all of this stuff goes on for you personally, please send me a message or an email. My website is farmhousemoon.com. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Sending love.